why can't... Oh! Welcome back! Action back. Here we are today with Fizz and Fathom. Iron Bank. Look out. Been looking forward to this one. Been waiting on another Fizz and Fathom since the last one, which was Cars at Home. Make sure you go check that out if you're new. Let's get into it. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling, I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. I always love the great outdoors. It's so bright, make my eyes hurt. I wanna talk. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I, feel so crazy. I, can't match it. She's I felt like I was at home in the woods. Okay, Kayla, hold on. Get around this curve. Oh no, watch out, bro! Watch out! Ah! Hey, buddy. I eat the booty. Damn, that shit must be good. I can hear him through the over the music through the truck. Uh, let me guess, bro. You recommend the burger? God, yeah. Good. Get a cup of water. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah. So what can I get for you today? Uh, let's go with the cheeseburger and fries. I hear they're great. <laughs> Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, how, <laughs> how about a coffee? Perfect. Anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring back the food out as soon as it's done. So let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good, appreciate it. Be careful with all those Marlboros. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. No way I'm about to pee in the sink. With the door open. Oh yeah, this man's reckless. Thank you. Thank you. She must have heard what I said about the Marlboros. Consuming. Eat it up. What's y'all favorite, favorite meal to get when y'all go out? This food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in it. The art of cuisine in the new lookout? Wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Send send you send you in a bit, okay? Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. It was very delicious. I wouldn't say it was the best burger in the West, but it's definitely the best burger I've had since I've gotten here. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Uh let me get the check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. You you just gonna leave this here? Alright, well somebody's not getting a tip. Alright. Not a bad burger. I enjoyed that quite liberally. Oh, I like that. I like that. One thing about Rail, he, he, is this dude still eating on this burger? Bro, that's your fifth burger today, ain't it? Bro. Bro, ain't no, 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 dog, no, dog, no, dog, no, dog, no, dog. Ain't no way this nigga's in. <laughs> In my ear like that. Like that, shining the sky, yet I need you. And this 
start sipping shy, yet I feel you. Real dumb. This real man is vacuuming that sandwich. That's crazy. Sounds right. All right, now do I grab my stuff? Said it'll take a couple of hours for me to get there. Do I go to this tower? How do I get there? Oh, okay. Oh! Uh, holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them, Pilgrim. You scared me! Hey, Lord have mercy, Pilgrim. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? I'm not a camper. I'm the new transfer fire lookout? Is that correct? I did not know we were hiring this season, Pilgrim. Hang on. Let me check on that. Okay, pal, you're good to go. Your staff at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion, Pilgrim. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. I appreciate that, brother. I like your accent. You sound familiar. Have you ever been any in any Western movies by any chance? Let me open the trail gate for you, Pilgrim. How did he do that? Oh, get away! Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long height to your lookout. Oh, thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this, Pilgrim. Welcome to Iron Bank, Pilgrim. Now for our purposes. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, Pilgrim. He'll be your closest contact. In any case of any emergency, 
All right, Billy, man, you, you're you being hella helpful, man. I just can't put my finger on it, but you, you remind me of somebody, brother. Somebody. I can't put my finger on it. Ah. Excuse me, uh, Pilgrim. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Um, why? Dangerous woods that way, Pilgrim. Bobcats, bears, nasty business, Pilgrim. Okay, you got it. Thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. I don't have anything to like. I don't have anything to let me know like how far. Nah, man. It's probably just squirrels. More than likely a squirrel. Or birds. Something like that. Possibly a, a doe. A couple of does running around out there. You know. Employee training. Here we go. Welcome to Iron Bark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Nice. Did you report for the night yet? 
No, let me get to it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Right. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. That's the guy who was calling me Pilgrim. Uh, 20 knots. Weather condition. Uh, missed. Uh, number of hikers assisted. Zero. Reported by, what's my name again? Uh, uh, Grant. I don't know the temperature yet. I don't know. Hey, how do I pick the temperature? Is anything in here to do that? Compass. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Man, I wish I could have some music playing right now. A little bit of background music. That was an extra flashlight there. This is a compass. compass. Oh, here it is. Right in my face. Um, what does that say? 40 degrees Celsius? Give me these. Uh, let's say about 40. Let's say every two. So, two, four, six. About 46. Ported by Grant. Something didn't look right. What, the weather condition? Jack Nelson. That didn't... Okay, there it is. I know, I got no service. I'm in, I'm at the top of a tower and I have no service. That's crazy. I'm gonna go back to mist. Jack. I forgot the name was Jack Nelson. Something didn't look right. Twenty minutes later. I have to report the Oh my god, bro. Bro, like, I pulled out the binoculars and zoomed in before I even. That's on me, OG. Don't want the bed bugs bite. There better not be no bed bugs up here. You heard what's happening in France. Good night, over and out. All right, I'm going to bed. This that's been that was a long. Yeah, no. That's, it took me a fucking hour to figure out the temperature. What's happening? Not sleeping too good. Connor? I had to pee. Of course you had to pee. What the fuck is my shit? His lights out. 
There's lights out. This better not be some trick you play on the new guy. No fire or nothing. I gotta go check, man. What direction is that? Space to pee? Just pee right over the edge, huh? Is that somebody standing down there? Where is he going? Oh, he's going the opposite way. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's just going that way. He's going left. He's going left. But it's not the winner, so. Yo, where does that path go? Oh, I'm about to sleep. Ah. Nothing like waking up in the morning to nature with your cup of joe. Tower 12's kicking. What a night. Ah. You know, life doesn't get much better than this. Let's take this photo right here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's it. That's it. That's the stuff. Bring it back a little bit. Get the tower right there. A little bit of the lake. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, I could do this. But besides all the walking up the stairs, which I'd get used to that eventually, I could definitely do this. Could y'all do this? Could y'all be a fire watchman? Is that even still a thing? With all the technology we have now, you probably only need like what, like two or three people at a time rather than twelve people. Son of a bitch. Uh, what? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Uh oh. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. North, let me take a look. North of my position, huh? I'll be here. Uh, I see. Yeah. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Uh-oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Ah, hobos. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? All right, I'm heading north. I'll report back. Stay safe out there. You know it. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over okay. and out. Bear spray. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I need my flashlight, will I? All I gotta do is head north. But I do need my bear spray. So bear spray, you're coming with me. Yeah, it's early. Well, that, that might be a long walk. I'll take it with me just in case. It's never a bad thing to take your flashlight with you. 8.37 p.m. Followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh man! Hey, you okay? I'm fire watch. No camping. You guys have been soliciting. Yo, what the hell is going on here? I got chills right now. Did you reach? Are you okay? Reply back. Kill it. I thought I saw something shining here. Yo, let me take that bayonet with me. Hey, buddy, you gotta leave! Step out here! Now! Show yourself! I'll hit you with bear spray. Get out here! Don't let me go any further. I need to put this fire out. I had to put it out. Hands were full. There we go. I'm immersed, man. They just got me. That really had me immersed for a moment. You need to leave. You can't be here any longer. I'm I'm heading back. Here I come, here I come. The nice and nice, you can check out my nose. Starting to get it started, you know what to do. The Jamie Foxx dance is running too. Here I come once again. The Jamie Foxx. Are you kidding me? Dead ass, bro. Nigga down there screaming, got a fire going on, soliciting, spray painting on signs. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I, spray painting on signs, that's whatever, graffiti, I kind of fuck with it, I don't know about you. But yeah, dog. It's nasty, it's nasty work, but I put out the fire. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards, it's unbelievable. Bastards? Do you know these people? This is the third time this month alone. Third time. Anything else you notice in those woods? There was a. a it must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No, this was a manly scream, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Three kids. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and. Yeah, what, what does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. 
What? It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Hey man, there's some sick freaks out there in the world who just love the sense of thrill that they get from pure dread and fear. You sick freaks! Sometimes. I know. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate morning. these goons anymore. Goons? I don't know if they're goons. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. I don't know. I don't think you understand what a goon is, brother. Agreed. You too. Over and out. Thanks for the rest of you. Might try it tonight. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look at what I got home too. Ooh, don't do that to me. Ingredients. Place all ingredients in casserole. Bake it for 20 degrees. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Enjoy. Mom made that same casserole recipe today. Nom nom. Hee hee. All right. What time is it? Nine nine oh five. Nine oh seven. Alright. Guess we can play Plague XC. Oh shit. Oh shit, gang. Oh, he was behind me. Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Where you at? There you is! There you is! Oh, fuck. Sharpshooter score more than 500 in the minigame. <laughs> Go for a thousand. Go for a thousand. 500 was too easy. Give me a collateral or something, bro. God damn. Collateral? Not at all, huh? I guess so. There it is. All right, where's the next zombie? You can have me. I'm done. I'm done. You can have me. Bro, it was taking you too long. I'm sorry. No, I don't want any help, bro. This nigga ain't even hitting me, bro. Look at him. Yo. <laughs> Yo, bro, hit me, bro. I'm right here, gang. Come on. Swing wider. Use your hip. <laughs> you, you're using too much lower back. Use your hips, bro. Your hips. Use your hips. There you go. Now you got it. There we go. 
All right. I'm just sitting here with a whole pan of lasagna in my hand. What's y'all favorite type of lasagna? Uh. Oh, they say there's only one, but you can you can put a little mixture to it. Go you know, add some spinach, maybe some feta. You know what y'all like in y'all lasagnas, bro? Your lasagnas. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to lift open. Hello? Something very strange about that night. Where's my bear mace? Where's my fucking bear mace? Where's my bear mace, bro? I have bear mace! Flare. What the fuck? It's a flare. The hell? I was already there. It was that that direction. Okay. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower Eleven. Oh. Listen, man, take a deep breath in, out, in, out. All right, now tell me what's going on. I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Okay. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods. On this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Trail surrounded by trees. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your surroundings for me? I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. Passing a small stream. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. So you're walking west. Okay, so you remember walking east going there. So you're walking west, so I need to walk oh, east. Thank okay. goodness, I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I'm at the trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? The right or the left. Okay. Can you help me? Take the left. I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. Yeah, man. You got it. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging, man. You got it. I'm right here. What? I hear you. Oh, okay. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out.
Oh, Mitch! Holy moly! What took you so long in there? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials, Pilgrim. Here you go. I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding this for one more set. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, Bill Rum. I was require <clears throat> I was required to investigate the campfires one. Oh Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, Pilgrim. Bobcats and bears. <laughs> you be careful out there, Pilgrim. These woods aren't normal. There's stuff out there that will love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job, Pilgrim. I've been here and you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? I'm gonna mention the school. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't even think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, Pilgrim. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch, Pilgrim. Thank you for the supplies. Seems like it's pretty warm tonight, though. Not nothing to worry about too much. Oh, I can't. Who are you? You need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. That I'd say hi. The, the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name, man? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Yellow? Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. Hmm. You must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Fire risk are high this season. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. Sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. It's getting late, bro. You should probably leave. 
Have a good night. Jack. I never told you my name. Hope you sleep well. But remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell. Bitch, 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 bitch. That was a great scare. Not gonna hold you, gang. I had it ready. Y'all saw I had that thing ready. I had that thing ready. Yo, the build up for these scares are good. The build up for these scares are good. But they're your average loud noise jump scares, you know? Very typical, but they're good. Well placed, well timed. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay. No more snoopers, I guess. Okay, thanks for letting me know. There it is. This one is now up to date. The hell? Oh, I know what it is. I gotta go get some more. Uh, my thing at. Here we go. Always keep it on you, kids. Always keep it on you. Nothing to worry about. There we go. Back up and running. Got a pee. Here we go. You can hide in here. If not, if this is if, if this is meant to be like this, that's really cool. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What I've happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Right. And now I'm seeing this. What? I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. So quiet. Oh. This is my east. What are you talking about? Oh, hell no. The only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Well, take a picture, nigga. Brother, here we go. So 
so you gotta and so I gotta go over there oh brother all right oh this is the only spot I can take a photo from Oh. No way. There's no way somebody made it over here that quick. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There's no way. I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here, bro. Oh, please. No, I'm sprinting, bro. I'm sprinting, bro. Y'all see that? Okay. In. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I ready to head to the alert to HQ. 
<laughs> Look, Jack. We all get a little stir crazy out here. A chance. Oh wait. Look, Jack. We all get a little stir crazy out here, Bell Grom. Morning. Authorities illegally ran a small invest. Allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story. Dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires. Just stick to looking out for fires. Bill Grum. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The knee still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activity. So if any of you plan on going camping in summer, please, be safe. Hey, yo, I really got into that monologue. Dun, dun. Jack. You made it out alive Now you're on a drive A long one for the night Well alright Never going back there I know it's not fair But you're a you're a survivor, Jack, Jack, Jack. You don't ever have to worry again. How y'all like that? Uh, beautiful game. Beautiful. 30 out of 